Hi, this is Brother Barnes, and as with any big project, getting started is the hardest part. But we do need to begin in the beginning, even though we've really kind of done a lot of data and analysis already, but we need to go back to the start and work on our report. I would like to make a self-standing lab report as an Excel turn-in. That's kind of my dream here. So what I want you to do is do a couple of things to begin with. Add a couple of sheets for me. Add a couple of sheets. Let's put sheet two before sheet one. And this is where we're going to put our introduction. And then sheet one is going to be the page for data and analyses. And matter of fact, we could probably go ahead and change this to data and analysis uh, density lab and by the way the data was originally taken on 7 no 713 2020 we can put that in while we're thinking about it let's go back to sheet 2 and what I want you to do is insert a text box. Give me a large text box, kind of in the center. And I want you to go to DarylBarnes.blog, and I want you to look at this blog post called Writing a Lab Report. And I want you to click on Lab Report Format for Word document, and then copy the format so that it can be pasted into this Excel document. So if I right click and paste, there it is. There is the lab report format. And I'm going to separate this out just a little bit to kind of get started. Materials, data, data with dates and collections and calculations are on the next page they're on sheet one so this information is going to be sheet three and let's back this up a little bit and let's take let's take out this let's cut that all right and let's go to sheet three and then let's do the same thing. Let's insert a text box. Let's put it right in the middle. And let's paste what we just cut. This page will be our discussions, discussion and analysis and calculation of experimental error, conclusion. Actually, some of our analyses are on the previous page, aren't they? In this case, we did a box plot analysis. So let's let's cut this part out. I, I know I'm being a little bit tricky. And let's put let's leave discussion on this page. Let's leave that here. And then let's go back to sheet one. And is there any place that we could put a text box here and we can come back and meddle with it later? Let's insert a, a text box right in this area right here. There's a little empty spot right here and I hope it doesn't overtake the information. Date with dates of collection, calculations, discussion and analysis. We're going to do our discussion on the last page. So let's say analysis including titled. Yes, we have that here, don't we? We do have dates with dates of collection. We do have some calculations which were done with the statistical tool pack. So I'm going to stop here. This is going to be where I am going to say that I have gotten started. 
Notice that we can click outside of this and then we can also come back later and modify this. So we have an opening page that we will begin working on. We have a data calculations analysis page that we have really just about kind of finished. And we will modify this a little bit more. And then we have a discussion calculation of experimental error, conclusion, resources, cited page. I may join in with you. I may keep working on this and I may not because this is actually the right start. And so you could basically have a three page lab report in Excel. And that is a great start, estudiantes. <laughs>